Good morning. Today we started off with this gorgeous sunrise. And one thing I just want to point out as we're going to go through our time lapse of it here is notice what time it is when the sun's peaking over the horizon. It's before 6 a.m. We're seeing that sunrise earlier and earlier and of course sunset later and later. And now we're finally getting sunrises before the six o'clock hour. So a nice bright start to the day today. And as we go through time, you can see we really enjoy blue sky and sunshine throughout the morning hours. And this continues as we head into the afternoon. So we're looking at some great Great conditions ahead of us here. Here's a look at the latest radar and satellite map. Uh, so looking overhead, you can see most of us enjoying some perfectly blue skies. There are some clouds down to the south and west. And we may see some of those fair weather cumulus clouds pop up in places like that Ellendale and area and Edgeley area and down toward Aberdeen as well. Here's a look at our temperatures. We are cool. That's the one problem here. It's beautiful. It's dry out there, but it is going to be one of those days where we just can't warm up. And some of us starting off our afternoon still in the 30s. It's 36 degrees in Devil's Lake. It's 40 in Grand Forks and 42 in Fargo right now. So we're working on a warm up here, but it's going to take some time this week. And today is just going to be one of those days where we just don't see it. We're looking at wind speeds out of the north, that northerly wind driving in that cool air. It just keeps coming. So uh, the sun having a hard time fighting that. We're looking at 24 mile per hour gust right now in Thief River Falls, 25 in Hallock, 26 down in Sisseton. So there's a little bit of a breeze with that. Here's a look at our hour by hour planner. We are going to continue to see those temperatures rise a little bit more more and more. So by the afternoon, everybody's in the 40s, some of us approaching 50 degrees and staying on the dry side, by the way, still concerns about uh, critical fire weather danger. Uh, the wind is not a good thing for us here with the dry fuels out there. So best to avoid burning here today. As we head into the nighttime hours tonight, we'll watch that sun go down closer to the nine o'clock hour. And then once that happens, our temperatures really drop. We've got one more night of some frigid weather where we're looking at the potential for a hard freeze tomorrow morning. We're talking temperatures mid-20s to some upper 20s in most areas as we start off our Tuesday morning. That means clear skies, and that means, of course, starting off with some sunshine here. Let's take a look at the forecast for the rest of the day. Mostly, we do see some warming weather. As we head into the noon hour, we start to see that wind turn. It's not very strong, but that turn is a good sign that our flow is coming in from a different direction now coming in out of the southeast and notice our temperatures we're warming up back into that 50 to 55 degree range still well below average but better than today and here comes our warm front we'll see the cloud cover first move into the south and west and eventually that takes over into tomorrow night and our chances for some rain increase for wednesday and here's a look at wednesday's planner and the next seven days too wednesday we'll see some shower chances half inch of rain or more in some areas and looking at a good shot of rain for just about everybody with some windy weather with it too so it's going to be a raw day on wednesday but once that front passes we end up in a warm warmer air mass, a little warmer pattern, and we really do start warming up heading toward Friday and the weekend, temperatures 60s to 70, and if we can get some good sunshine, more likely 70 on any of those days. It looks like right now there is a chance for some rain Friday night and into Saturday, but still a huge difference from last weekend. Last weekend we had rain on Saturday and snow because temperatures were so cold, so uh, we're taking a step up toward the end of the week, but Again, today into tomorrow morning especially, you'll definitely want to make sure you're wearing that extra layer if you step outdoors. All right. Thank you very much, Lisa.